Hi everyone, welcome back to Catherine's Plates where it's always simple, easy, and delicious in my kitchen. You know, there's always a casserole, a one skillet, the crock pot, and even desserts happening in this channel. So if you are new here, welcome. Okay guys, it's casserole day today. A really simple and easy casserole packed full of deliciousness. And we're calling this crunchy, creamy chicken casserole. Oh, you want to stay for this one. If you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, if you don't get your chicken <laughs> cut up really quick, that's what happens. <laughs> you have your husband over there eating the wings off your chicken, and then you got the dog down below trying to wait for anything to happen. He took out of here like a shot, didn't he? He got caught. All right, there's my rotisserie chicken. I'm going to take this and hopefully get three cups of chicken off of here. Now, if you're not going to use a rotisserie chicken, you can bake your chicken, you can broil your chicken, or you can even boil your chicken and then chop it up from there. You just want three cups of fully cooked chicken for this dish. All right, once our water comes to a boil, we're going to add plenty of salt here to season our pasta. Now, I'm using like egg noodles, and these are dumplings, and actually these are no yolk. And I've got 12 ounces going in. Okay, so we're going to cook these per the directions on the back of the package for al dente. Okay, my pasta is done. What I'm going to do is just place this into a large bowl. Now you can use any pasta you want for this, okay? I'm using the egg noodles because we really like that. And it goes really good with, you know, the cream of soups we're going to be using. And that's no yolk. <laughs> yes. My husband's still saying his jokes. Okay, what we're going to do now is add three cups of our cooked chicken. Now remember, I pulled this off of my rotisserie, but you can bake, broil, or boil. Okay, now let's talk about our soups. I have cream of soups, two cans, and these are 10 ounces each. Now when I say cream of soups, you can either use cream of chicken, you can use cream of celery, and you can use like cream of mushroom. But I would mix like cream of chicken with something else so it's not so chickeny. We are gonna be doing a can of cream of chicken. Now this had herbs in it, so that's good. It'll add some flavor to it. And then I'm putting in cream of celery. Oh, y'all, if y'all haven't tried cream of celery, you need to try that with this because it is so delicious. Okay, so that's going in. I've got some chicken broth here and I'm gonna put about half a cup in. So what we'll do is we'll fill up one of the cans about halfway. There we go. And then I'm just going to slosh them between the two cans. Get some of that goodness out of there. Put that in. Okay, now I've got some cracker crumbs here. I just kind of broke these up into tiny pieces. Now these are kind of club crackers and they got a buttery taste to them. So you can use these. You can even use Ritz crackers. You can use like um, panko crumbs and just season them up a little bit. Yeah, anything kind of gives a little crunch. There we go. All right, what I've got here are frozen vegetables. Now this is um, corn, carrots, peas, and green beans. And this is a blend that I got from my store all together there. So we're gonna add that. Yep, it's getting kind of full in there, isn't it? We'll get it though. I've got one more thing to put in there right now. And I got half a cup of cheddar cheese. All right, let's mix this all together. Very carefully. You don't want to lose any. Okay, so about half a teaspoon of some garlic powder. Now judge the flavors, you guys. If you want more, you can put more in there. If not, then don't worry about it. 
Got some onion powder. Got some salt. Some pepper. And some paprika. Now this is a smoked paprika, so it's gonna give it a nice little flavor and color. All right, we're gonna finish mixing this up. Okay, let's go ahead now and place this into our casserole dish. Now I'm using a nine by 13 and I'm gonna spray it with some nonstick cooking spray. Now also make sure that your oven is preheating at 350 degrees. All right, we're gonna smooth this out. Okay, now what we're gonna do is sprinkle half a cup of cheese on the top here. So we're gonna cover our baking dish here with some tin foil. All right, if you're not using the nonstick tin foil, spray the side of the tin foil that's gonna go down on top of your dish here, okay? And that'll keep that cheese from sticking to your tin foil. All right, we're gonna place this in the oven. It's gonna go in there for about 30 minutes. We're gonna come back, we're gonna take this off the foil, and then we're gonna add something else to it. Okay, we'll be right back. Okay, so I've just pulled this out of the oven, and what we're gonna do is take the foil off. Mm. Okay, and I've got about a cup of those same crackers. Now these are the butter crackers here, and I'm gonna lay them all over the top here. All right, this is gonna go back in the oven for another about five, seven minutes. Now, if you want to add more cheese at this point, you can. We're going to keep this just the way it is. Mmm. Guys, this smells amazing. Oh. I got three hands. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> it's nice to have a sous chef in the kitchen, my husband. Look at that. Okay, we've got the crunchy, we've got the creamy, we've got the chicken all in a casserole. Here's my bite. Mmm. That is so delicious, you guys. You need to try this one here. Mmm. It was so easy to put together. All right. Who's making this one? What crunchy are you putting on the top? <laughs> All right, y'all, give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and that bell notification so you'll know when shows like this one here are posted. Okay, guys, I will see you on my next episode.